My name is Lucas Gregory. I'm the project manager for Texas A&M Center for Invasive Species Eradication and the Caddo Lake Giant Salvinia Weevil Rearing Facility here located at the uh, Caddo Lake National Wildlife Refuge. For the past four years here at the center, what we've tried to do is really bring a research aspect to the giant salvinia control at Caddo Lake. Uh, we began efforts by coming in and constructing the greenhouses and the salvinia rearing tanks that you see here uh, with a ton of assistance from Texas Parks and Wildlife and uh, certainly do appreciate their help and also the funding received from uh, Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison uh, through uh, NRCS and, and all of those avenues. Um, but really what we've done is, is try to bring the research aspect to salvinia control efforts at the lake. Uh, and primarily we've focused on using the giant salvinia uh, weevil. And it is a host specific organism that only feeds on giant salvinia. Uh, it spends all of its life cycle on the plant. It relies on the plant for food, for habitat, and it's a primary mechanism in the reproductive cycle of the weevil as well. The weevil actually lays eggs into the stem of the salvinia plant. When the eggs hatch into larvae, the larvae burrow their way out or eat their way out of the plant, and that's what really does the damage to, the, to giant salvinia. So some of the critical findings that we've, we've discovered over the last four years uh, related to the giant salvinia control using the weevil uh, are the facts that weevils are, are quite resilient. We've discovered that uh, they do adapt to their climates relatively quickly. Uh, using weevils from other areas of the, the state and world, uh, we've discovered that there are specific adaptations to climate. Uh, weevils from Australia are more cold tolerant than weevils we have here and weevils from Louisiana are less cold tolerant than weevils we have here uh, at Caddo Lake. So the weevils definitely adapt and that cold tolerance is one of the things that we're hoping that over time will evolve and make the weevils more adapted to the Caddo Lake environment. Uh, we've also done some lab-based studies to evaluate the weevil's ability to recover from extended periods of freezing. Uh, and the weevils that we have here at Caddo Lake can tolerate a fair amount of sub-freezing temperatures. Uh, this winter, uh, the winter of 2013-2014, uh, has definitely tested the weevil's ability to do that. We had several cold snaps where there was a fair amount of ice on the lake for an extended period of time. Uh, but the good news is, is that we are still finding live weevils out on the lake. Uh, so we take that as a really positive sign that the weevils have actually uh, begun to adapt to their surroundings here at Caddo Lake.